here. I'm working on it. They're still shaky. Stand by. Have you found Alex? We've got a lot of good people on the river looking for your friend. Swiftwater 412, we just launched a quarter mile upstream. Roger that. They have red life jackets. Do you copy? Affirmative on the red life jacket. Look, I need to know where you guys got into trouble so we can start searching downstream from there. The raft turned over. You're all outside the raft. What happened? It was pretty smooth at first. We were just hanging out. Yeah, you remember? Alex was videotaping everything. Yeah. Then we came around the bend, and the current was picking up, and there were rocks everywhere. And we spun around into a big wave or something. I don't even know what happened. But all of a sudden, we were in the water, and the, the raft was on top of us. But you all had life jackets, right? Yeah. 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 What? Well, Alex didn't. I mean, he had it, but he never put it on. If I had to guess, these adventurers never imagined they'd end up in the morning papers. Hey, stuff happens on the river all the time. People bump into rocks, fall in, swim. It makes great stories to tell your friends, but it rarely makes headlines. Until it does. Until someone doesn't come home. And too often, that someone wasn't wearing one of these. Yeah, I know, you hear it all the time. Wear a life jacket! Wear a life jacket! But you're not afraid of the water. You're a good swimmer. Is it really that big of a deal? Well, let's check it out. When you think river, you think water flowing downhill, right? But take a look at the river bed. Not exactly a smooth slide to the sea. When the bed's level, the river makes pools. But if it's steep, the river screams along and all those rocks force the current to rise and fall, twist and turn. Rapids, it's why we came.